What's up everybody? Chocolate Milk here with a not so rapid reaction video to the recent Nintendo Direct that happened on September 4th. So that's the intro and now we're gonna get right into the video. So they start things off by announcing that Overwatch, the huge, huge game Overwatch is coming to the Switch on October 15th of 2019. And it's basically the same thing except for they're adding motion controls so now you can really ruin someone's day with Junkrat's ult. It's the best thing in the world, right? Then they move on to Luigi's Mansion 3 and they kind of show like some new clips, some new things here and there, but the real cool things were they showed off these themed floors that you're gonna get in the game and also what's called Scream Park, which is not a scary park, but I guess it could be if you're Luigi, I don't know. So Scream Park is basically a multiplayer game where you play with a bunch of, with a bunch of your friends, and you like kill them all, you break them all, you smash them all, you catch them all, you know, like you just, you just do it all to everything, basically. And yeah, that was pretty much it for Luigi's Mansion 3. Then they show off Super Kirby Clash, which is free to play. And it's basically like a boss fight multiplayer game. And it's available today, or at least the day that it was announced, which was the 4th of September. And this is not done on that day, definitely. And I really love that about Nintendo. They're just like, hey, look at this game. It's ready now. But another game they talked about that was kind of like around, like, hey, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Well, it did happen. Uh, the Trials of Mana HD remake is going to be out on April 24th, 2020, and it's cool to see stuff like that come to the Switch. It's also cool to see something come back that was never gone. I don't know. I don't know much about this game, but it's called Return of the Obra Din, and it's like a black and white first person mystery style game where it takes place on like a ghost ship. You're trying to figure out how everybody died, and everybody's like, look at me, I'm a zombie, and now I'm dancing. But who knows? I don't know. It seems interesting. Uh, it comes out in the fall of 2019? Then they move on to the biggest game out of Game Freak since we all went crazy over a field mouse with way too much static electricity. That's right, Little Town Hero. It seems like a pretty cool, interesting game. So basically you play as this kid named Axe and you have to protect your town, but never leave it. Never leave it. Protect your town from a bunch of these monsters coming in. Probably ended up like making friends and figuring out mysteries and blah, blah, blah. So you fight these monsters in another classic retelling of rock, paper, scissors. And you do that, you can also get help from some old guy with a sword. It's, it seems interesting. Like, I'm, I'm on board, I'm on board. Especially when you tell me that some of the music was made by the Undertale corrector, Toby Fox. I'm on board. Comes out October 16th, 2019. And you can preload today. That's what they said, but you can still preload because it, it, you can still do it. Anyways, on to Smash Brothers because it wouldn't be a Nintendo Direct without Smash Brothers. So they announced that Banjo-Kazooie, the Smash Pack, is out today and the day that it was announced. Banjo-Kazooie, pretty cool. I, I dig it. Uh, they also announced a new character coming to Smash, which is the fourth Smash pack. Thank you, Taco. And it's uh, Terry from uh, that SNK fighting game. And yeah, there's one more fighter pack that's left, and then that's all they're gonna do. And then JK, they're like, hey, we got more. It's Smash Brothers, duh. Got you, bro. And then from Smash Brothers, maybe they moved on to another classic Nintendo franchise. Link's Awakening, Zelda, that one, the green guy with the hat. So they showed off some more Link's Awakening footage and they announced what they're calling Chamber Dungeons, which is basically Mario Maker, but Zelda. Then after that, they moved on to some Dragon Quest XI stuff, which was like, hey, this game's coming out. You all should be interested. There's free DLC in the chance pack when you buy the game. Also, the demo's available, which I've been playing it. I kind of enjoy it. I like it, but I'm also a big fan of like old school turn-based JRPGs. Then they move on to one of the games that probably has like the longest name ever in uh, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore Remix Deluxe Ultimate HD Pro Edition. It's basically a dance fighting game between Atlas characters and Fire Emblem characters with other stuff that I absolutely know nothing about and I apologize for making fun of that right now. But I'm doing it anyways and it comes out January 17th, 2020 and again you can pre-purchase today! Uh, another game that they started talking about was Deadly Premonition 2 and it's basically another like horror mystery style game. I don't know, it's not my type but hey you could like it. You jump back and forward in time and you gotta do it, otherwise the demons are gonna come get you. With Deadly Premonition 2, you're like, well, where was Deadly Premonition 1? Well, guess what? It's out today! Or at least the day that it was announced on the 4th of September, 2019. And that game was released just in time for the second one to come out, which is coming out sometime next year. 
There might have been a date. I don't know. I missed it. I am perfect. Then they start out with another game that starts with the letter D, Divinity Original Sin 2. And it's basically the same thing. It's just cool. It's coming out for Switch. That's awesome. And then all of a sudden, they're just like, boom, Steam and Switch cross saves? And it's out today? Shut up and take my money. Take it all. It's all yours. I love that game. Super stoked about that. I'm not going to buy it again because my wife would kill me. But it's a cool game and you should buy it nonetheless. And then Pete Hines from Bethesda came out to thank everybody for buying all the other iterations of Doom that came out on the Switch. And in order to really thank everybody, he was just like, yo, Doom 64, November 22nd, dog, it's coming. So yeah, Doom 64 is coming to the Switch on November 22nd, 2019. Probably other consoles, but hey, this is a Nintendo Direct, not a PlayStation Direct. And then they announced a game called Rogue Company. That's a game. It's out next year. It is a game. And then they got to what everybody wanted. Pokemon. Because we all love Pokemon. Don't you lie. We all love Pokemon. I they announced that you can do have like deeper character customization where you're just like, you can dress up in different ways. You can wear a hat. You can not wear a hat. You can wear a hat maybe sideways. I don't know, but probably not. Um, then they also announced something that's called Pokemon Camp, AKA the best, underlying best, best summer ever ever love it where at pokemon camp everybody loves curry i don't know why but everybody loves curry they also announced two new pokemon two of them out of the probably 70 we're gonna get but two of them one called poltygeist super clever guys very clever i love it it's like a haunted teapot basically and then cramorant which is guaranteed the newest member of jesse and james's squad for sure and then in what's Probably the coolest part and definitely gives Tokyo Mirage Ultra Mega Sessions a run for its money with the longest title ever, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online was finally announced. Say that 10 times fast. So yeah, it's basically the SNES for Switch Online subscribers, which if you don't subscribe, if you have a Switch, you don't have Switch Online, get it. It's like a penny. I mean, it's not really a penny, but it's pretty cheap. The list of games includes It's a pretty cool list. I like it. There are some some games that were there on, on the SNES Classic, like your Mario Kart, your Metroid, your Mario World, your Link to the Past, you know, Ghouls and Ghosts, like the classics, you know. And then you got games like Brawl Brothers and Joe and Mac 2, Lost in the Tropics, and like Stunt Race FX. I'm super stoked for that. Not to mention uh, Super Tennis. Bring it. Undefeated. But it's probably because I never played it. So yeah, I'm excited for that kit for that. It's really cool. It's out now right now you can get them you can play them they're yours it's out now play them all um i'm excited for the future with these games i want to know what other snes games are coming because that was probably my favorite console of all time and they're also much like when they did the nintendo switch online they gave out this like nes regular controller that was like wireless super cool they're doing an, S an snes one and that only leaves us when's the 64 one coming out come on then they announced some cool stuff for tetris 99 it's getting a cool update it's something about missions tickets themes you know not to mention like local play which is really cool super awesome if you're a tetris 99 fan then mario and sonic are having another olympic games who could have who could have seen it coming no one everyone except this time it's in 2d fun and then they announced that Damon X Machina is getting another prologue demo, which is basically like the first like 40 minutes, 30 minutes of the game. I don't know. I played the demo that I had and it was cool for a bit. It is available today. And that full game of Damon X Machina comes out September 13th, which as of right now, it's like a little more than a week, maybe less. Definitely not less. But it looks like an interesting game. It's basically armored core, but like cell shaded. I might be on board. And then the award for game that wasn't expected to come back, but hey, I'll take it, goes to Star Wars Jedi Knight D. Jedi Outcast. What's with all the long titles? It's, that comes out on September 24th of 2019. And then they showed some Witcher 3 footage, and it just kind of makes you cringe as a Witcher 3 fan. And then they showed off Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Assassin's Creed Rogue, and they formed a tag team, and they're called the Rebel Collection. Yeah. And then they showed off Dauntless for the Switch, which looks really cool. I haven't played that game at all. Probably should. Probably when the Switch comes when it comes out for the Switch. But I don't know when it's coming because they didn't give out a release date. And then it's a game montage. And 
and the freaking outer worlds are you kidding me and then they put out a promotional video for animal crossing which was the cutest damn thing i've ever seen since i saw my cat 20 minutes ago and it basically showed off a bunch of fun outdoors cool times on a deserted island where you play as a strong and independent animal crosser that also likes to party and that comes out on march 20th 2020 and in the final announcement of the day the biggest one JK. Xenoblade Chronicles is coming back as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. So yeah, that's basically it for the Nintendo Direct that happened on September 4th. A lot of really cool stuff. A lot of stuff that's kind of like meh, but I enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this video, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. What was your favorite thing about this Nintendo Direct? What Super Nintendo game would you love to see come to the Nintendo Super Nintendo Switch Online? Whatever you want to call it, however, whatever that was. I don't even know. I'm talking way too fast. It's going way too fast. But leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video and just everything in general. And don't forget to click subscribe for more things, chocolate milk, and more late gaming news. Bye, everybody.